you think? Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning, May 1st, 2019. Pretty soon we're going to be hearing a lot of May the 4th be with you. Lame. Um, headed into work for the day, and look at this. The sun is out. The sun is shining. The ground is still wet. But we got blue skies and a lot of flooding today. Um, my uh, pathway to get to work, I believe, does not have any flooding thus far. So it should be good. Dropped Grant off to his mom's this morning, and man, Grant has just been awesome. He's been a real sweetheart. He's uh, learning and singing a bunch of new songs at school. He's even learning, uh, he learned a song that taught them how to memorize all of the presidents that we've had. I'll have to look that up, but I thought we had like 55 presidents or something like that. That's a lot of names to remember, um, but he's doing really well. Uh, yesterday's baseball was canceled, and we just kind of hung out. We played a little bit of Minecraft. Um, couldn't really go outside. It was raining all, all day. Um, today, I'm going to be getting a bunch of stuff done at work. So I have to work on the inventory. I have to work on... Um, I'm going to go at 11 to get my mirror replaced. So this thing will finally be fixed. Uh, yesterday I paid a bunch of bills. So I have, let me think, I have probably about 37, maybe $3,800 worth of credit card debt. What I'm gonna do is do a, the old swap a Rooney. So I'm gonna sell off all of my weed stocks and all that stuff that I started investing probably six months ago that was all of my savings I took all of my money and parked it into these stocks in hopes to make some money and I think I'm about even it's been many many months and my portfolio is exactly where it was when I initially bought in so I'm just going to just fucking dump it pay off my bills and then each month start collecting or saving so instead of putting money down on the credit cards each month, I'll take that money and drop it into savings. Um, that's going to be the way it goes, I guess. But uh, I don't like having credit card debt. Like, my life just seems, my quality of life seems a lot crappier when I'm weighed down by all that debt. And I just don't like it. I don't like having to, like, work now to one day pay off something like if I work I want to like enjoy it or like I don't know it's a weird it's a def, def, definitely a different mentality <clears throat> but I was a little bit more cautious with my spending on vacation you know I bought a very minimal amount of souvenirs um, I did spend a little bit extra money buying Nikki some stuff but it was only like two three hundred bucks um, we spent all of our money typically or mainly on um, adventures or excursions or whatever you want to call it. So we did the uh, two horseback rides, we did the ATV, we did, um, what else did we do? I think we did one other thing that we had to pay for. Um, so our money, or my money, mainly went to doing that sort of stuff versus, um, oh, I also sp paid to upgrade our, our seats and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, money went towards that versus crap that I don't need or whatever you know I already gave everyone their presents and they already forgot about them so it's, it's kind of the way it goes uh, my mom did wear her shirt that I got her and she looked really pretty and it looked really nice it's like a purple pink or something type of color shirt it's uh, really cute uh, my parents are headed to the lake probably tomorrow Grant is supposed to have practice today but uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. Probably not with all of this rain that we've been getting. So if not, I'm going to be going over by Nikki's. And if he does have it, I'll probably just go over by her afterwards. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so I'm tired. I've been getting up like every... Look at this car. Christ, love it. Love those F-Type Jaguars. And... Uh, I, I love to have one of those cars. They're dual clutch automatics. I think it's like an eight speed. 
and they're like five or six hundred horse in a little um in a little coupe that's not the one that i that i'm talking about though that's just an f type there's the f type r that sounds sick so that's it going into work stay tuned for more all right guys just leaving gerber collision and glass look at that and they got me up and running in like 20 minutes or something it wasn't very long at all this is nice um i didn't even test it out let's see if looks like we got that functions or works i do need to check out the uh the turn signal there's a turn signal indicator on the outside of the of the mirror i can't see it from this side but very cool um so i'm headed back into work and actually i'm going the wrong way i just realized i want to go and get some gas so i have 59 miles left on this tank of gas so i need to flip a yui um grant's practice was canceled today so i got um i think i'm just going to be going over by uh, by nikki's right from work and yeah seems to be a pretty nice day the uh, car says it's 55 degrees out it's uh the roads are, are basically dry or pretty much dry but you guys can see like all the retention ponds are really swollen man they still have some more capacity maybe another day's worth of rain but it's it's pretty much maxed out um uh i don't have much else to report that's it there's not much else going on so i am headed into uh i'm gonna go get the gas i can't get the car wash i didn't even think about it but the, the mirror is paint matched so it's um it's uh you know they, they painted it so you gotta kind of give the paint some time to set cure harden whatever um so i'll probably wait at least a week or at least another few days before i get it washed um the girl there told me that the place that I get my car washed at typically or normally should be okay. She said it barely touches the car or whatever. So um, that's good news for me because um, they were originally saying, oh, there's a there's a Jeep on the, there's a bunch of them. There's three of them on the back of that car carrier that are the trucks, the Jeep trucks. They look like a, a Jeep Wrangler on the front and they have a truck bed on the back. So I wonder if that means they're live. So back in the day, um, if you wanted one of those, it was called a Brute, B-R-U-T-E. You would have to buy the Jeep and then pay an extra five or 10 grand and have the truck bed added onto the back of it. It was a kit or something done by a third party, I believe. Um, now I believe Jeep finally came out with their own version from the factory. So um, I heard they were coming a year or two ago and they might they must be out those are the newer newer models there so that's cool um i'm trying to think what else is going on instead of working on the inventory today it's just slow going i just uh, it's one of those things i'm just not excited about doing so that's what it's just like blah yeah all right so that's it stay tuned for more all right, all right, all right. Just getting out of work for the day and gonna head over to go meet uh, Nikki by her work. Um, and then we'll probably just drive back by her place or whatever together or follow each other. Um, it's a good day today, good day. Car saying 58 degrees out, everything's dry. Everything is overcast. We don't have any sunshine necessarily, but uh, just need a little bit of time with no rain falling so I think we should be good here um, I don't have anything else to report on I've just been working on that inventory today and during my all my free time that's it so stay tuned for more